guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this beautiful butterfly stitch. Uh, I found this pattern for this stitch on mypico.com and they have the whole pattern with pictures and it's, it's very useful so I'm going to direct you in the description box below to their website where you can follow along with the, the pattern and they have British and American terms and this is done all at, uh, at one stitch. The butterflies aren't added later, you're, you're adding them as you go in the row. And then the next row, you add the antennas. And then that's why you can see that there's the color here that you use for the wings and then the top is the yellow because you, you're using it right in the stitch itself. And I thought that was just fantastic. So uh, I want to go ahead and show you how to do this stitch today. This would make a beautiful afghan for a little girl. So to do the stitch, uh, you're going to need a 5 millimeter hook or size H hook. Also a pair of scissors because you are going to have to cut on the sides. And then I went ahead and I did a border around to kind of hide the tails that you'll have at the end. So I think a border is a must for this blanket. And you can use uh, many colors. If you see on their site, they, they use many different colors like every row. They have a different color wings and antenna. So you can go rainbow with this, but I decided to go with three colors. Um, I live in Israel, so I don't, and they uh, don't really sell this kind of yarn abroad that I know of, this kind that's made in Israel. So I don't know if you can find it. So just, if you like these colors, um, this is kind of like a almost reddish uh, orange color and then a bright yellow kind of like minion color and then white so if the, you want to make it the same kind of colors those are the colors to aim for uh, the multiples of this stitch is 22 plus 13 and what that means is you're going to be doing in sets of 22 22 22 22 until the afghan is about as long as you want it width wise you know the wide part and once it's as wide as you want uh, add 13 more stitches and then you're ready to begin the stitch. So go ahead and grab your 5 millimeter hook, your pair of scissors, your yarn, and we'll get started. So the first color that you use, you want to make it your main color of your blanket. So the main color I'm using in between is white to make the colors here really show off. So whatever color that you have here, you want it to be uh, the background to the butterflies, so don't use anything like too dark. Uh, you want this to be light and maybe the butterflies to be dark or, you know, bright. Something that's going to stick out. So once you've got your width that you want, you want to go ahead and, let me get a little closer. For row one, it says you want to skip three chains, one, two, and three, and then this fourth chain here you want to work a double crochet. Then you want to work one double crochet down your whole chain. And if you're wondering how much that I uh, chained originally, the multiples is 22 plus 13, so I just did a chain of, of 22 plus 13, so I have a total of 35 chains to begin with. But this is just uh, for the tutorial. This isn't going to be an afghan, so. So go ahead and continue to crochet down your whole chain, and I'll see you back here in a moment. Okay, when you get to the end of the row, you want to chain one and turn. Now for row two, you want to put a single crochet in the first stitch, and then work one single crochet in each stitch across. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my row. Make sure that you remember at the beginning chain three here that you single crochet one in the top of that chain three. For row three, chain one and turn. Again, put one single crochet in that top single crochet. And then, I mean the first single crochet of the row, and then work one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, for row four, you want to chain three, turn. This row, you'll want to skip the first stitch, and in the next 
stitch of the row, you want to work a double crochet. Then you want to work one double crochet in each stitch of the row. Okay, that was row four, and now it's time to switch colors to the color that you want to use for your butterfly. And also, I cut my yarn at this point. So, I'm going to grab, I guess, the yellow one first. It's the one I used last time. And all I do to change colors is I grab my yarn, fold it a little bit in half just to make a loop here, and then you leave yourself a little bit of a tail. And then I get that loop and I pull it through the loop. And then I pull that color down that will tighten my loop. And now you can drop that color and to adjust the color that you're using if it's got a big loop like this, is you can just pull on the tail and that tightens it up. Now for row five, you want to chain one and turn. And you're going to be working a double crochet, no, single crochet, in the first five stitches. So I'm going to the first stitch here of the row. No skipping the first stitch this time. So single crochet in the first five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to start making the wings. We're going to slip stitch in the back loop only. See how each of them have a back loop and a front loop? We're going to start by just slip stitching in this back loop. So I'm going to just go into that back loop and slip stitch. Then you want to make seven, you want to chain seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The pattern says seven. I'm going to show you this real quick. When I chained seven, I got this kind of like a loop that stuck out. I want to show you, kind of like that. See how it's kind of like too big? So I thought, hmm, what would be if I chained only five? <laughs> so you still get it, but it's not as separated as the rest of it. See how when I did the chain five, how it just seemed to just be even? So it's up to you. If you want to do the chain seven, which gives it more of a loopy kind of look, you can, or you can get more of like a uniform look like this. So that's up to you. I preferred to do the chain five. So I think I'm going to back up uh, two chains, but go ahead and do seven if you want. It won't affect the rest of the, the pattern. It's just going to change the look a little bit there. Okay, so once you got your chain seven or chain five, you want to do four triple crochets into the back loop of the same stitch. So this, this back loop here that you slip stitched into, you're going to work four triple crochets in that same stitch. So you're going to yarn over twice, go into that same stitch that you slip stitched into, the back loop only, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then pull through two, pull through two. That's your first one. You need to do three more of those. Remember, loop over twice, same stitch. So that was three. And this is my last one. Okay, then it wants you to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. That part I didn't change. It says chain five, that's chain five. Okay, now it wants you to slip stitch into the front loop. So this, the same stitch at the beginning that we went into the back loop of, we're now going into the front loop of that. So it's better if you just turn your work this way, come in from the top, 
to go into that front loop and slip stitch. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. This wing here is the first left wing of the top. So every butterfly will have two large wings, a left and a right one, and then the two bottom parts of it. So this is the first wing, first top left one. You're still going to be making the right one last to create the whole complete circle. So this is the two bottom parts. Okay. So after you chain five, you want to do a, you want to do two triple crochets worked in this front loop. So again, we're going to come in from the top of that front loop, pull up a loop, and we're going to do our triple crochet. And again, yarn over twice, going from the top into that front loop, and do your second triple crochet. Then they want you to do a double crochet. So we're going there the same direction and everything, but this time we're doing a double crochet. Then you want to chain three and slip stitch in that same space. And this will complete your first bottom wing. So this is your, whoops, this is your first top wing and then this is your bottom wing right here. And then now we're going to do the second bottom wing and then we're going to go up and finish the, the top one. Continuing all the way around. And again I'm working with my uh, afghan upside down now since I'm working around. And if you need a little bit more space here you can always pull down your stitches. So to begin the next one you want to chain three, one, two, and three and you want to do a double crochet. And then you want to work two triple crochets. You're basically doing the opposite of what was here. You did your two triple crochets and then your double crochet. And now you're doing it backwards. You're doing a double crochet and then your two triple crochets. So I'm going to work my two triple crochets. In the same stitch. Then you want to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then slip stitch in that same space. And that finishes your second bottom wing. Then you want to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and you want to do four triple crochets in the same space. So Going to yarn over twice. That's my first triple crochet. My second. My third. My fourth. And this is my fifth. Then you want to chain seven or five, how many ever you decided to chain at the beginning here. I, the pattern calls for seven, but I think five looks better. So I'm going to go with five. And then slip stitch again back into that same space. And then you can go ahead and pull up your loop real quick, just so you don't lose your place. There. Make your afghan face the right direction again, and then you can see your butterfly. These are the two top wings, and this is your bottom wing. Now you can go ahead and kind of fold down your top wings if you want, so that you can keep continuing your row and see your stitches. So your very, very next stitch, stitch is the very next one that you can see. So it's right there. You'll go right into that one and you're going to do a single crochet. And they say they want you to do a single crochet in the next 21 stitches. So I've just did one, 
So now I need a single crochet in the next 20. So single crochet in the next 21 stitches. Okay, so I single crocheted 21, which brings me here to my very next stitch, which I'm going to work my butterfly in. And then you should have five stitches, counting this chain at the beginning here, five stitches left after the next stitch. So you should have six stitches here at the end. Um, of the end of your row. So you're going to continue to do it again and again and again, but when you reach the very end of your row, just make sure that you have six stitches when you reach the end. So I'm going to show you again how to make the butterfly. So again, you can chain seven or chain five here. It's up to you. I'm going to chain five because I just think it looks better. Three, four, and five. And then you're going to do four triple crochets. So again, yarn over twice. Oh wait, I forgot. We're working at the, in the top of our single crochet here. We're supposed to be working in our next stitch. So again, you want to find the back loop of this stitch. There's the front loop. This is a back loop. So go into the back loop. Okay, once you do your single, your 21 single crochets, you want to find the back loop again, and we're going to do the back slip stitch in that back loop. Then you want to chain uh, seven, which is what the pattern calls for, or you can chain five if you think it looks better. So three, four, and five. And then you want to work four triple crochets in this back loop. So this will be one, two, three, and four. Then you want to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and you'll go ahead and slip stitch in the front loop. So we're going to go in from the top now into that front loop of the same stitch and we're going to slip stitch. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then you want to do two triple crochets worked in the front loop. And this is where I usually start to turn it because it makes it easier to work in that front loop that way. So I'm going to yarn over twice, going through the top of the front loop here, and work my triple crochet. Yarn over twice, and do your second triple crochet. Then you want to work a double crochet in the same stitch. The bottom wings are all made up of two triple crochets and a double crochet. And then you'll do your chain of three, one, two, and three, and slip stitch in the same stitch. And here's where if you need more room you can pull. So to make the second one you need to chain three. One, two, and three. Then, tri then double crochet once. And then triple crochet twice. And then you'll do your chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll slip stitch back to the same stitch. Then chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And you want to triple crochet four times into the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then you want to do your chain of seven or your chain of five to end it. Four, five. And slip stitch into that last stitch. And then 
put your afghan back this direction then you can fold this wing just to get it out of your way so that you can see the very next stitch begins here and you would continue your row unless you're ending it like me then you would just single crochet in the last five stitches or four stitches and technically the chain top of the chain three here to end your row and then I cut my yarn oh actually I just I cut my yarn I don't uh, in the the loop because I'm going to change colors again this next row we're going to learn how to get our antennas so you want to grab your in antenna yarn which is going to be this color for me 